So, Canva Magic Studio has lots of great tools. They have their background remover, Magic Eraser, Magic Expand, Magic Edit, Magic Grab, and Grab Text as well. Now, what I'm going to do in today's video is show you how to use all of these tools. So, what I'm going to do is show you how to use the Canva Magic Studio. Now, one thing to note, and that is Canva Magic Studio is a pro feature, which means you do need a Canva Pro account to try all of these. Now, if you want to try out a 30-day free trial of Canva Pro, then there will be a link down in the description below. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase after the 30 days, then I will make a small commission. Now, let's actually go ahead and go through all of these six features, give them a go, so you can see how to use them. Now, the first one is Background Remover. So this will take away the background of any image that you have. Now, for this example, I have this image just here. So what we're going to do is remove the background. We're going to click on BG Remover. It's going to do its thing like that. And as you can see, it's really simple to use. Now, we have the background all removed from this image. And as we can see, it's really easy to use. But that's the first feature. The second one is Magic Eraser. So if we click onto our image, come to Edit Photo, and then we can use the Magic Eraser. Now, one thing I quickly want to say is that you might be on the older version of Canva. So if we click on here, revert to the old Canva, come back to Edit Image, it's going to look like this. So if you're wondering why you haven't got all the features, if it looks like this, then just click on that little message and it's going to open up and show you the new version. Now, anyway, we've clicked on our image. Now we're going to use Magic Eraser. If we click on there, this is what it's going to look like. Now we can play with the brush size just up here, making that bigger or smaller. Then once we have the brush size as big as we want it, all we have to do is highlight in one continuous flow the part of the image that we want erased. So for this example, we're going to do this butterfly. Now, if we click on here, Canva's going to do its thing and it's going to remove the butterfly from this image. Now, as we can see, it didn't quite do it. So now what we can do is just quickly go back over the top like so, give that a second. And now this should look a lot better. And there we go. It's done a pretty good job. Now, if we click on edit photo, we can see that that butterfly has been removed from this image. So that's how you can use Canva's Magic Eraser. Now, they also have this Magic Expand. Now, what this does, we'll take your image and expand on that. So if we click on this image, click on Magic Expand, we have a few different options. We can actually crop the image as well. But with the Expand, we have Freeform, Whole Page, One to One, and a few other dimensions. Now for this example, let's do the whole page. So we're going to click on there, click on Magic Expand, and now it's going to expand all the way around this image to fit our canvas. And there we go. Now once it's done, we have a few different options to choose from. We have Image 1, Image 2, doesn't look as good as we can see, Image 3, which actually looks pretty good, and Image 4. Now if we choose one of these, we can click Done, and now that is done. It's expanded on our previous image, and as you can see, it's done a really good job. So that's the magic expand. Now, quick side note, I do actually have a second channel, and you might be interested in this. Now on this new channel, my stacking designs, this is all about Canva, Kittle, and designing in general, all with little bite size tutorials. I have tutorials for Canva, for Kittle, for Canva text effects, Photo P tutorials, Canva hacks, Creative Fabrica, fonts, and many more. Now, if this sounds like something that you're interested in, then I will leave a link for this down in the description below. So, back to here, because we still have a few other features which we're going to cover. And that is, if we click on this edit photo, 
the Magic Edit feature. Now, with this feature, what you can do is take any part of the image, kind of erase it out, and ask it to put something completely different there. So let's click on Magic Edit. We've got a few different options, with one being the brush size. Select the whole image, and then you get to describe your edit as well. So for this example, we're going to leave that on 20. We're going to highlight that just there, and we're going to highlight the bowl. And now, if we go to describe your edit, this is what we're going to put what we want to see. So for this example, let's put a bowl of fries. We're going to leave this alone because these are just for inspiration. And then we're going to click generate. Now again, Canva is going to do its thing and give us four different images. And there we go. This first one looks pretty good, but let's choose this second one. So that's supposed to be fries. It didn't quite do that. So let's click on this one and let's click on this one. Now, out of all of these, this one seems to be the best and looks pretty good. Now, what you can do once it's done is click done and that's it. It's now completely changed that object which was in our image. But that's how you can use the magic edit. Now, we also have magic grab as well. So in fact, let's go back onto this image. Let's come up to edit photo and click magic grab. Now, what this is going to do is going to take the main part of the image. For this example, it's this person and it's going to disconnect it from this image and fill in all the background as well. So as we can see, it's now grabbed this person and now look, we can actually take that away from the image. So that's what magic grab does and it's a pretty cool feature. But this brings me on to the last and final feature, which is the grab text. So if you have an image, any type of image with text on it, we can simply click on that image, come to edit photo, click on grab text, and now it's going to remove the text from this image. Now what it's also going to do is try and line up the font, which is in this image with one of the fonts in the Canva fonts. And if we click on any part of this image, which was text, we can see that it's all completely editable. So this is really handy if you have images with text in them and you want to change. But as you can see, Canva just makes it super simple to quickly then come in and change any part of the text with any font that we want. So we could click on that one and now it's changed it to that. So that's how to use Canva Magic Studio. As you can see, it's really simple and they have some great features. All of the features are the background remover, magic eraser, magic expand, magic edit, magic grab, and grab text as well. Now I do have other features down here, but that's not part of the Magic Studio suite and I'll save them for another video. Now, if you liked the video, then please give me a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, then click right here and watch this playlist.